Hello there, and welcome back, one and all. You're looking at possibly the comeback kid, Von Aston from the Netherlands, loading in. What a shock! Heavy Cav Rifle Rock Company. Who's 2-1 up in this series, though, Eddie Babes? It is indeed. Big boy Jove, the beast from the East, eh? And he's he's picked uh, OKW, so no... No austere love here today. He means business What's now. What's an austere? What's that mean? It means Wehrmacht. The other well, these, these, are, these are German. I don't want to have any idea what you mean. <laughs> of course, there's only one German faction in the game. It is OKW, Oberkommando Vest. <laughs> that faction that used to be. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Jove, interesting uh, strat here. Early game, Kubel has brought it in. I oh, love can this you one. see that windmill that got added in the background? Look how beautiful that is. You never get to see it in the game. But uh, For the Dutch fans out there supporting oh. Von Aston. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so many Dutch people supporting Von Aston. And also, I saw Lovnest, who was the vanquisher of Jove in the semi-final yesterday. Spoiler alert, but you could probably work that out. Uh, he's supporting Von Aston as well, which is cute to see. Stuff. Camaraderie amongst the, the even greatest of competitors. You're going to say thieves, but... Uh, <laughs> They're doing it the honest way. They're competing in best of five coming here as two battles for your viewing pleasure. Two Rathman versus Sturms behind the cover elsewhere. Got the rear echelon chilling in the garrison. No capping thus far. It's all about the tactics and how long until Jove chooses grand defensive doctrine, Ed. What's the bet in here? What's the bet in? Come on, scavenge doctrine. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Pump, pump out those uh, ambush grenades. That'd be good. Infiltration grenades, even. It's a bit oh, of a mix. The best on ambushes, I think we should rename him. That's right. Oh, here we go. A little bit of on retreat action for the rear there. echelon here, Red. He's funneled him in, and the Sturm Gewehrs are loaded. I like this flank from the Sturm Pyres, but there's too much HP on those rear echelons. May as well move on off now. Get ready for that next cap, that next engagement. Third rifle squad coming onto the field. Traditional three rifles. Yeah. Feel familiar. Oh, the changing directions from the flag. Flagged initial command, and they're going to go south to contend for this fuel point. A little bit of synergy there. I mean, it doesn't speed up your cap speed like it does in Battlefield or Call <laughs> of Duty, Domination and Conquest, but uh, it certainly does help to repair whilst capping. Yeah, and a later game as well as more indirect fireflies around and HE shells. It's actually bad to be capping this uh, point with yeah. multiple squads due to that AoE effect. Oh, damn it. That was increased received accuracy whilst doing anything. Yep. Actually allowing uh, his opponent easier access to that southern entrance there. Bit, uh, bit unfortunate, but probably won't count for too much. Jove going for a double Volksgrenadier into a yes. Panzerfusilier opener. So See Jove's from, uh, um, from Russia. He doesn't know about roundabouts like we do in the UK. He's just gone straight over it, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> no look left or right. <laughs> oh, I tell you. These uh, M1 Garands are doing a hell of a lot of damage to that Kubelwagen there. Forcing it away. A little bit of a pitch battle there. Kind of don't need to look at that. Kubel's getting low. Oh, nice MG34 snipe from the Kubel there. Long range stuff. Blacking away a model in uh, green cover, so already proven effective. Yeah, it doesn't two kills. use any manpower. It Indeed. Can just soak up that damage, get fixed by the stern pyres. Hopefully survive a bit longer in this game than the last one. Wasting energy though with the headlamps being on in the daytime there, Ed. <laughs> but you can't argue with two kills and veterancy one already. It's fabulous, it just wants to be seen, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Stone Pioneers disrupting the Rifleman's cover vantage point. Also taking the cutoff point, so a little bit of a tricky start here for the Dutch Warrior. Yep, great usage of the STG Toten Stone Pioneers from Jove. Making that early game advantage that normally goes the way of USF turning on its head and saying, nope, I'm OKW, I'm going to sit on your cutoff. This is the excellent bal balance of coming here. Nobody's ever messed with the Stern Pioneers balance because it's the j it, they are the jack of all trades, but because of it, and they're very expensive, you lose 32 manpower a pop, and uh, you have to keep them in constant use because they mine sweep, they repair, they do DPS, and they're a glass cannon whilst they do all of those things, Ed. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And pro players never, due to the manpower, like absolute bleed if you lose models on them. No one at this stage really gets uh, two squads out, so they you get overworked. You, get, you know you're getting good at auto match when you see your OKW opponent get two stern pioneers and you're happy. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah. in the early stages, before rank 1000, say, you're like, oh no, two stern pioneers, what do I do? Then when you learn infantry micromanagement, you suddenly see stern, uh, two stern pioneers and you lick your lips because you know it'll go in your favour. Rifleman yeah. rear echelon the house here. Panzer fuses as ever. Of course, he has clicked the ability. They're more like pansy fuses at the start. They they don't hit very hard. <laughs> you, 
you basically have to upgrade them with G43s to get that intense uh, DPS for anti-infantry ability. Rifleman can force away lieutenants now out as ever. We've got double fuel possibly for Jove. And uh, he's having a good time of it. And it took about five minutes for the Grand Defensive to be... Well, about three minutes for the Grand Defensive to be locked in. Five minutes to get double Panzerfusilier uh, squads for Jove. So at least he's making smoke bombs use of at this stage. Doctrine. Yeah, I like this. Oh, he's smoking the lieutenant out. A lot easier now to get that doctrinal bingo where you use every ability <laughs> of it. <laughs> One of the little side mini games of like, Co2. Like a university dormitory near the uh, pizza base here. <laughs> the Sternpower's on the front line, wailing away on the lieutenants. Been the, been the choice for Von Asten in this early game. Got the 18-8 off Schussler no. Oh, time. what the hell? Super long range. Talisman. Oh, he'll be in the NFL draft for that throw. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I used to never know when they'd, they'd done the animation, and Talisman told me a cheeky little tip. Go on. One gun is raised higher than all other uh, models in the squad, so you <laughs> know when it's been got off, because it's a very sneaky animation for that snare, as, as opposed to the Faust, where you see him whip it out of his pocket. Sneaky and relic file. developers. <laughs> 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 so they make you... Watch closely all the time in this game. We've had unlock mechanized platoon command post completed. For those that don't know, last year they had a revamp of USF and how it works, and they split up some of the tiers. So now you, when you've got your lieutenant, you have to then tech to get the M20 and the Stuart now. So they split everything up, made it a little bit more flavoursome. My my opinion, I really like how they did it with OKW. We spoke a lot about that yesterday. Hopefully we get to explain that one later on. And Jove, uh, in true Von Aston-esque form of the previous game, said, right, or well, anything you can do, I can do better. I'm going to lose my Stern Pyro squad and still beat you. So, uh, when did that die? Is that just dropped, has it? Did we, I don't know. We did I think not they, catch that on screen, unfortunately. They influenza near the mid VP ah, and just good. sneezed to death. So. Cover for the T-Tours and happen. the cast is missing the action. <laughs> <laughs> it was influenza or possibly typhus, something like that. A little bit of back in here and running straight back to base. Meanwhile, the Panzer Fusilier's getting out of there. Jokes aside, that's a big manpower bleed for Joe. It is. You'll see on the, the graph as we show it now, um, point is under attack. Jove's dipped heavily because you start with a stern pioneer advantage at the start and you see it died about a minute ago by the looks of things. Yeah. If uh, Von Aston consolidates his position and pushes ahead here, we could be seeing a game five for the first. It would be the first uh, five game series of this weekend. Final four elimination games. Playing here for the third place in two thousand dollars in prize money of Von Aston and Jove. You know, it's uh, it's it's quite funny. I was watching you and Dan uh, casting the previous game, and I believe um, Jove. Quite Joe... funny. Come on. No, it was, it was great. It was great. I watched <laughs> Jove hilarious. lose a rifleman off off camera. Nobody knew where it was at the time, and I was thinking, I bet I would have caught that. Because I'm that arrogant, and you know what I mean. And here you are, Stempire as well. Hey, I'm I'm gonna hold back on uh, oh. trolling you guys too hard with the camera work because. Yeah, it's a lot to keep hold of. I should be helping you out. Plume of dark scope, uh, <laughs> smoke there as the cool awaits repairs. But unfortunately, the Stern Pioneers are nowhere to be seen. They are being rebuilt as we speak. Stuart's on its way. By the way, there's a nice M5 mine there planted, so this uh, Panzer II best not try and pursue down that avenue. There's so much something uh, there unintentionally. I think it's something no one really utilised in previous patches was the mine laying in the Persian. Company, yeah, because everybody field. thought, right, I'm against USF. It's crazy, isn't I it? I never need to build a sweep in my life. <laughs> no. But now it's totally turned turned around, and people are really utilizing that first first doctrinal ability on the It's coming straight down into the center here, looking to uh, push away as Panzer Fusiliers and just keep that fuel in Von Aston's favor because he hasn't had it for the majority of the game, so he's just trying to keep it now. A little nice. base expect inspection from the Stuart there. Pops the Luke's on the nose and. Uh, Swiftly uh, reverses off. No ambulance still for one so There's a lot of low HP off. squads that translates yeah. to manpower. Look at these dudes, all low health individual soldiers. They were back in base, they could have been healed, but that's what I mean. That's what I'm referring to with the lack of fuel. He knows it. He can't even afford the 10 fuel, or spare the 10 fuel rather, before getting the Stuart out. To get his oh, up and nice run. shot by the Stuart there. Tell you what, these first grenadiers have a tricky retreat path because this 50 cal is just oh, waiting the for them. Could and the mine. Oh. oh! See you later, Volk Squad. That is super hurtful for Jove now. So he's lost the Stern Pirates and a Volk Squad. Replaces it with a Puma, but Pumas can't cap points. Eh? 
No, they removed that in the humor <laughs> capping removal patch of 2012. I remember it. What a dark day that was for OKW. Damn, I came too late to this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stuart thinking of a cheeky shot there. Does see the Panzer Fuse Lears flip for certain. Elsewhere, you've got Fox Grandiers chilling as the 50 cal goes up against the Panzer too. Prioritized vehicle engaged. Nice long range snipe there, just forces the Lukes off long enough, but Fumo is Ooh. on the field now. A lot of units on the retreat path for the Panzer Fusiliers, they are going to seek refuge Heavy truck waiting for deployment. in uh, refuge Barbie's dream quest house. Questionable there now. Mine hits the Kubel, or well, Kubel hits the mine rather. Yep, and a nice push off from the Puma, tries to get the second shot off on Stuart, just misses. Want to be building up that veterancy for the unlocking of the target weak point stun shot. Just forces away the 50 cal. Looks like the Panzer Fuse Leers. Wow, they, they did well to make it out of there. That was looking bad. Genuinely did. They must have waited till the exact right moment till the units were possibly split somewhat. It is worth noting, of course, as a bazooka and lieutenant lowering its anti infantry capabilities somewhat, but it's still a lucky, uh, or possibly well engineered retreat path there. Game the old Kansas shuffle, I think. Made him look left and he skipped out to the right from that big building up north. He's had to get the minesweeper on the second Stern Pioneer's joke because Von Aston's piling on the pressure. And uh, I tell you what, Von Aston hating Halodny Firma Summer may actually prove to yeah. be for a reason here because he's certainly having a much better time on Fame and Villa approach. Definitely, and uh, I just think Jove has. He's spluttered at the start here, but he's if anybody get through to the late game despite having a bad early game. It's Jove. Oh, folks trying to Tractor will save them. Ah, but the Stuart pushes on. A little bit scared of any mines though. Is it? Nice snipe there from the Oh, the so close! One. Couldn't get the second, yep. Danger close there for that squad. Just just about get back. Betu Kubel has not seen any fixing love in ages. Needs to get uh, his mechanics on that so he can get decapping and capping again with it. Puma tags in, but uh, the tag was a bit late there. Make ready to move. I these skins though from Jove. But Let's just um, strong tell skin you, game. This is how Jove plays, by the way. If you follow camera, he always um, well, he doesn't need to rotate. If we show him the next game, he will rotate the camera into his perspective. But he's a very twitchy player, and uh, doesn't use much tack map. May you get the uh, motion sickness. <laughs> you will. This follow, is just uh, camera for Joe. <laughs> I mean, watching on the old cast cam, it's quite therapeutic, somewhat. But uh, seeing the players in action is just ferocious. As the Stuart equally so pushing the the Panzer two around, that takes an oblique angle to get out of there. Just wave that extra speed from the road. <gasps> Stampires pinned. Could be an 18 no! aid. Oh, MVP 18 aid there, taking him out, forcing him into the wall. Meanwhile. We've got the Panzer Fusiliers causing all kinds of problems for Von Aston's infantry. Great push there from uh, from Von Aston. Just kept him busy, pushed him into the corner that he wanted. And well, I saw the angle as well, the, the oblique angle, as I called it, that he took. Yep. Meant his infantry in a perfect position to get the 18 aid off, and he, indeed he did. Really well crafted, engineered move there from Von Aston. That's the kind of stuff that needs to keep him in this in this match. Well, if he wins this, it all goes down to crossroads for the for game five. The winner of the series, I'll say it again, will win $2,000. It may be a third place playoff, but it's the biggest third place playoff in Company Heroes history. Yep. It's got to consolidate his position now, does Von Assen. Doesn't want to get too hot headed and go for some crazy MOG plays. Just needs to keep it calm. Almost take a leaf out of uh, Jove's book. Just secure that late game for, for the USF. He's got the, he's got the commander for it with the Persian. Just needs to. Uh, Perhaps just, you know, chill, chill a bit, chill a bit, if he can. I don't know if he's no, capable of chilling. No, possibly not. <laughs> We've just seen the 50 cals chilling in the house here. The Panzer Fusiliers possibly don't realise that they could make a monster flank there, but that's the advantage of not having the Fog of War enabled for us with our map casting hacks. First Grand is now pushing and see the problem. Panzer Fusiliers see the trap. Maybe he was waiting for it, and that is Jove claiming the centre of the map back. Think of the mental rubber band it would be if uh, Jove then loses two games in a row after being one game away from closing off the series. It'd be a huge morale boost for the defiant Dutchman von Aston. Defiant Dutchman, I love it. And uh, he's in feeling increasingly confident now, and it's also affirming his suspicions about the maps 
and his play style on them. He once told me he wants to see tournaments only played on Famineville and Crossroads. <laughs> and he was adamant as well. I was like, well, we have to think about the fans as well. And, <laughs> you know, you can't just have two maps every single tournament. But uh, we do dominate uh, ourselves with Famineville and Crossroads, of course. But uh, it certainly seems that he's in that camp, the two-map camp. So me, me, me. With him. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to win his, his uh, hard-fought for prizes. Nice shot here as the Stuart comes into view. Also, the Lieutenant and the Bazooka try and make a beeline for them. This is why I just feel the Puma doesn't really have much worth in this game. We've seen him build every time, but uh, a double loops could have been more effective. I, I just think that the elite level players are proving that they're too good for the Pumas to be this all-encompassing unit. They seem to nullify it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, but we've got the GG Mortar board in now oh, by Von Kubel's Assen. dead! Oh, and the King Kubel goes down. Oh, bodies flying everywhere. Feels bad, man, for the Kubel. Well, felt bad for a moment, and then it just <laughs> kind of ceased to exist. No feels. <laughs> Indeed. Control of the lead there. Good flank on the MG, forcing the back. And uh, getting a bit of um, map control here is Von Aston. Still, two VPs, though, for this for Jove. A lot of action coming in to force away this Panzer Fusilier squad. They see that, they soft retreat behind the apex and then hard retreat. Just small differences there, make the top level players good. Mortar out, so um, going to be putting smoke down probably after a few barrages, trying to keep this central victory point in Von Aston's favour. Hardly any victory points have dropped relative to the previous games, Ed. We've had a lot of um, double victory point capping action, no triple caps so far, so... Been, one, uh, one thing I worry about about this OKW build is there's no off-map threat, no Stukas and Fus or uh, League Light, Light, uh, Light Infantry support gun. So Jove has to do it the old-fashioned way and push him with incendiary nades to, to, to make uh, the USF troops budge from these talking really, about really hard barrage. emplacements. Sorry to drop. Sorry. So yeah, just saying uh, green cover on this map is so key and it you is. see it relayed down time and time again. Well, if you don't, it's just destroyed by the half an hour mark, you know. Yeah. You've already seen parts of that happen. SWS yeah, goes you need the, commando. I think, yeah, I think he needs a bit of indirect fire. So perhaps Joe is going to get out in his all-encompassing Tiger tank late game and get the commando upgraded. Just forget out artillery. Hey, that's a good point, you know. It's a good point. But the ISG is also a good call and that has its own smoke barrage, so... Rakettenwerfer found out by the captain, marauding into view, saving Private Ryan Stiley. <laughs> and also, talking of triple caps, Von Aston's about to get one, as he brings on the Major, aka the Pershing uh, Commandant. He just like he's a per, per, he's the Pershing Requisition Officer. Yeah. He just makes sure the Pershing feels has a nice time. <laughs> feels less special now, doesn't he? Yeah. Like, you only need me for the Pershing. Oh. <laughs> that's that's correct, mate. You make sure he's okay. He's our key account holder, you know. He's he brings a pistol, you know, he's not totally useless. <laughs> you get that Tom Hanks esque uh, pistol snipe off on the tiger bag, really. Captain Verfa pushed around heavily there, but uh, there's a bigger fight for the lieutenant. Oh, eating a grenade, going down to Could be a no soldiers. Wipe here. Oh, MG coming in clutch, suppressing the Panzer Fusiliers. They do pick up a bazooka, though. Nice steal. But as you say, the suppression kicked in and lowered the Panzer Fusilier DPS to basically nothing. If that was an MG34, I think the squad gets wiped due to the Look lack of Look at this suppression. position by Von Aston. He's getting on the retreat path of this first grenade, but also you've got the Panzer Fusilier up north. He's getting ready to do some damage, but as is the Puma. Threatens off the steward. Yeah, Blake doesn't isn't able to complete the mine there with the rifleman. Has to back it up. No, he needs to upgrade his red panzer. Joe does. Yeah, no panzer authorization yet. So the flat cannon is not upgraded, which is a bit of a divergence from previous OKW. And uh, he gets a little bit damaged to him. But yeah, there's a mortar kicking him well. Just a bit of indirect. That's all you need in the heavy green covered type map. Panzer the Fusilier is chilling in Barbie's dream house up north, so the captain has <laughs> other ideas and gets out of dodge. 50 cal repositioning to keep the fuel, that's why they're going to change roles here. I'll watch you cap. Yeah, good, good idea. Good swap there. Puma working overtime though, and Luke's haven't gone down, he's going to, you know, he's, he's going for double pay today, hopefully. Veterancy coming in, thanks to that, 25% of received damage counting towards your veterancy and experience. Yep, 
Lieutenant. But Tedano uh, hasn't got much, too much to shoot at. And, uh, I do think it's maybe a bit early, but probably just getting irate with that steward and the amount that's uh, pushing the squads off the field. So had to go for it in the end. Australia pushing in with MG34 back up there. Forced off the centre right now, thanks to this prepared position from Von Aston. Joe's really like a rat in a bag right now, and he's he's gnawing his way out of it. Oh, but he's got the answer. I think he's got the Obersedan. Oh, if ever there's a good unit, especially twinned with this doctrine with the STGs, they're going to be hopefully causing a huge positive impact for Joe's army. It certainly is. North, we've got a bit of a flank from the Panzerfuselies, but the riflemen come to uh, action. Obersal Dorton indeed are now out, but the but the uh, Schwerpanzer headquarters taking an absolute pounding from that mortar. It all counts. It's really beginning to accumulate. Meanwhile, Chip nice away, flank yeah. here. A little bit of uh, major artillery coming down as he retreats after oh. it. This is going to be a big one. First shot. Oh, unlucky with the spread. Oh. MG squad is not going to oh, make it out though. Oh no, the Donk MG wasn't the so head. lucky. Indeed, and that's going to be a steal for Van Aston getting the uh, the fruits of his labour. Well earned, indeed. Joe's reeling here in game four. Did he just uh, max put all his effort into the first two games? Who knows? Possibly. He might be completely uh, fatigued right now. There's a few theories as to why Von Aston has completely turned things around and we're heading towards a fifth game in this best of five series. And that's certainly one of them. Has Jove, the unflappable Jove, has he started to falter? <laughs> He's freed his wings. <laughs> it's <laughs> flapping now. But yeah, I think uh, unable to upgrade the uh, STGs or LMG on the Overs is so painful. Get the most expensive infantry squad out that OB OKW can muster and you can't upgrade them. Stuart reverses away from the Puma, but here come the Bazookas causing it problems. And we've Ooh. had playback over Jove again, throws in the towel. Seeing that the situation is going against him, he thinks, okay, uh, next game? <laughs> well, it best be the next game. Otherwise, you're getting fourth in this prestigious tournament. Well, and there you go. Um, we're going to a fifth deciding ace game. And uh, and just like our webcam seems to be fatigued, I think Joe's <laughs> starting to feel it a little bit as well there. Um, yeah, what a, what, what a series this is turning out to be. I just think Joe loves Kolodny. Von Aston loved Faming, but it seemed. Like the, just that simple thing of a map change. Boom, totally different player. Uh, Joe seemed a bit out of ideas in that last game. Didn't have the same conviction and uh, no. unflappable strength of the first two. So definitely, I think uh, the momentum's with Von Aston. He could go and close this off and get that $2,000. I have to say, the throwing one game to get to the next game kind of works once. <laughs> but if you do it twice, I think you, the psychology does strategy, not work, <laughs> right? <laughs> throwing games to conserve energy, I don't know. I'm it, not it a works, fan. No, it works once, I think. I think we saw, um, we've seen it once worked well. I think yesterday, I think it was Nagano did it to Von Aston, didn't he? But I think Jove's now tried it I twice. Think you scrap like a beaver. You go yeah, down you would, wouldn't you? and biting and anything. I mean, <laughs> let's just, let's just, we're going to go straight just back to uh, this game and just look at the situation that he left it in. What an army he has. He's um, He's got decent, well not decent, he has fuel. He is losing. I'm not gonna deny the fact that currently he's losing, but look at the army value. It's it's, it's there or thereabouts. We've seen, he's been in the lead only mm. uh, five five minutes ago, you know? And I, But if you break it down, triple cap for uh, Von Aston, triple MG, a GG mortar, and 
basically a purging within what 20 seconds i, I so completely I agree Drew... with the situation as it is right now but you have to say that coming here has a lot of combat mechanics yeah. it's built that if you have the desire to fight and you fight well the game may swing in your I favor mean, that's a lot of vps he left on 304 vps which i think is the highest amount of vp somebody has thrown in the towel in. Well, i've seen it in the past back for in the this... old days they in, recently definitely yeah for this weekend yeah, yeah. And, recently. Um, it does seem a bit premature but he might know something we don't, and they might be an absolute god on Crossroads, well, which is the next map. So it could just be, you know what, save my energy, go get yeah. him, finish him off there. But uh, great comeback from Von Aston. It's, it's fantastic. We uh, questioned his mental fatigue and everything like that, but yeah, showed all the right signs there. It seemed like Jove had suddenly been the one, uh, you know, in an in a uncomfortable situation. It's cer no certainly uncomfortable. So yeah. It's just it, it's all Rough. about the fight and the dog, you know. He's his he has <laughs> slightly weaker army size, yeah, and he wasn't controlling the map. But uh, he's mm. clearly thought to himself, "I don't want to fight in this game four. I want to fight with a fresh slate in game five. Fair dues to him. Let's see how it happens. He'll be basically be judged by this next game. Yeah. Um, he certainly didn't throw anything away there, but he, he did throw away the chance to fight for a comeback at least. But they gave us the most games possible, so we can't complain. We can't Get complain a full with the amount five of game series finally for this uh, first time for this weekend so yeah they're playing for big bucks no one's gonna quit on this last game too early i'm sure they're gonna go for the end certainly not um so let's um, go on a quick break screen and we're gonna get stormless back in here for, t for casting of the game five um so uh, don't go anywhere we'll see you back well actually we've got to talk a little bit about the promotional stuff just before okay, we do go sure, i think we sure. haven't mentioned that for uh, a good here. hour <laughs> or so um this is of course free to keep weekend so you've got a limited opportunity still to uh, keep the game forever if you're seeing it for the first time also and it is uh, as well it's a uh, 75 off all dlc uh weekend so you can see some fantastic stuff you can get get hold of all these incredible uh, commanders for usf there there's so many cool look at the amount of vermax stuff you can all get there's so many cool skins available um Victory not that one well. that is an official skin by the way <laughs> so much great modded material <laughs> um, but uh, still you can get a lot of the official stuff which is really really well designed and uh everybody's going crazy for Personal what they just favorite saw favorite of pencil p5s that skin but uh yeah there's uh lots of um replayability in the campaigns of the game if you don't like pvp or you you're a bit nervous when you're first starting out you've got loads of campaigns to play through and then what but i think the real fun is online with your mates yeah or 1v1 just seeing the stresses and the the mental fortitude you need to bring out these games and to keep going to the end and uh, close it out. So yeah, I, I think it's such an ebb and flow of emotions during during a game of KOTU. And that's what we all love about it. There's a lot of RNG based on the mechanics, but that's part of the game. You have to nurture it. You have to make it two, work. Two things you. we haven't mentioned very much, by the way. Uh, coming yeah. here is one's coming to iPad soon. So oh, Feral yeah. Interactive are porting that over, so that'll be cool. And the one last thing, just before we go on a break screen, is that uh, if you sign up to the Relic newsletter, which is an option in-game on the menus, I believe, uh, you'll get the uh, Stalingrad DLC mission pack for free and that's uh, that'll it's a good little mini campaign. So we'll see you in a moment. Indeed. Thanks thanks for watching uh, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Cheers. <laughs> 